Guys, welcome back to another Mr. Lix vlogs right there and then. It's rather interesting when I'm doing these vlogs. One instance, we're out there in Titwash having fun. By the way, that will be in the link in the description below. And then at another time, we're actually heading to a funeral. Life is something rather interesting. Enjoy life to the maximum. Sometimes we have so much problems in our mind that we think, boy, I cannot do this and I cannot do that. But you know, when you lose your life, man, that is something else right there. So we're actually heading to an individual known as Mr. Alwyn Woolley. Celebration, I would have to say, his farewell celebration. Of course, he has done a great job when it comes down to you know him as an individual and of course as well as the things that he was able to accomplish. Even the creation of Dominica's flag, right there. We have to keep reiterating that very thing because a number of persons don't seem to know. He actually had a living legend, the one who designed the flag, who was alive and walked amongst us, and not just walked amongst us, set pretty much an example of how we should be with other people. You know, looking at talents and skill sets and encouraging people to go forward and do their best in this life. So I had to definitely go through and give my final respects to the man, to the man I actually considered to be my film mentor. Only one, well, the only one who actually had action, I would have to say, because I keep saying he's the only one, but other persons have reached out, this stuff, the talent and everything like that, but they never really had action behind it. And you know, Alwyn Bully was a man of action and I definitely had to go and see in my final respects of course i know the family anita the sympathies goes out to each and every one of you guys some of them actually watch me <laughs> on youtube and uh, you know it's unfortunate that this had to happen uh, but i'm just happy i got to know this man guys it's always a good thing to know people and know great people i must say and of course them knowing you as well you encourage me to continue doing what i'm doing in the film world so i need to make more movies <laughs> for sure but um you know, I did a few things in college and with a number of creators uh, in Dominica, Jingle Jam, GK, a number of them who have been doing this. And of course, the individual I can look at and see who is the originator for this. I don't know anybody else outside of Mr. Alwyn Bully. And of course, he's a great man right there. And of course, I'll do a little snippet for this year's vlog because of course, he always used to watch my vlogs and stuff, my travel vlogs as well. So, like I said before, sympathies from the Mr. Dix family to Mr. Alwyn Bully family including Anita Bully right there. And there's a truck that was passing so we decided to go on the other side of the road and now this is how we're driving we're driving like we're in America and we are going back to normal okay all right I just thought I put that out there okay all right <laughs> By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of his baptism, all will put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, May he be clothed with glory. For you, mm. as I'm um, already in um, the Zona, help us to be a band movie movie, we'll see you in the masqueraders who are um, moving to support people dress before because we um, got a lot of honor and stuff so so now we went and sit in the um, thing and we just want to support every move we make and we therefore
properties as you may know and um, I just want to see the impact that all we have on so much of us life, you know. And I could say especially me, because my first encounter with Orwin was when I met him, I was maybe about like, um, maybe about nine, ten years, somewhere about, and we were doing a program at the Goodwill Parish Hall um, with a guy called Robert Lee from St. Lucia. I think he's right there at the funeral right now. And um, that was my first encounter with Orwin, because already I was with Natalie Charles, who had a group called Harambe. But now he had a serious impact. Um, on so much of us like people like Panman because you now when I become a member of, of um, PAT I was somewhere about 12 years old and I stayed in PAT and I did a couple of shows with him like um, of course Rula in Iruna everybody remember me as Penny Fadin yeah. that was in 1976 and that's one of the time that I traveled for my very first time you know so I would say like you know always play that part in making me travel for my very first time and of course in the um, in the arts which I really love. Anita, thank you for being so gracious in understanding that your dear husband belongs to us as well. We could never love him as you love him, but you allowed us to celebrate him, his talents, his contributions to our country, and to the world, his achievements. We, all of Dominica, thank you for being the woman at the side of this extraordinary human being. He's just a breath of fresh air as it relates to his work. And it has impact to me, to the point where I was inspired to go to, into music. Of course, and of course, does, later on, like we did a nice song for Erica. It was called We Shall Rise Again after the passing of Tropical Storm Erica, which I happened to sing. And he was inspired to direct the video. So he has made a very significant contribution in that aspect in terms of my musical life. Of course, me, Jed Dorset. Very honored to have, to have been one working with Mr. Gori at that time. Of course, he, had, he has inspired me to keep pushing and you know, following his footsteps as an icon, cultural icon, musical icon, whatever it is, whatever um, direction we have to go as young people or whoever we are as Dominicans, he always has encouraged us to move forward in God and in purpose with what we do. So me, Jed Dawson, of course, very happy and well inspired, of course, and honored to be a part of the funeral as well. And of course, we're going to miss this man. This morning, I paid tribute actually on the radio because I know this guy is a very powerful young man and I wanted to remember him. So I spent the entire morning giving tribute to all of him because I know he deserved it. This is a hero among us. We have lost a national hero. I personally was thrilled to have the opportunity to interview him at least one time when I worked with the Government Information Service and he's such a treasure of knowledge, you know, and he was so willing to share everything that he knew. It's like he was always willing to pour out everything that he knew and uh, he spoke so passionately about Dominic, about our culture, about carnival and it's really great to see people embody the spirit of our nation that we are really
representing oh, Dominican Nature Eye right yeah, now. Yeah, it's the Emily's side. Yeah, Dr. Kala in the building. Kala, Kala, you blind man. I see Kala, Kala checking the news. And then we have Matt on here. went over to Jamaica and he was he never left Dominica although he was yeah I can yeah I can remember in 19 I can remember in 1999 we did folk nativity which I directed with the with the St. Alphonsus Youth Choir and I I, I call Alwin and tell him we need the script Alwin immediately sent it to us and on the night when we opened the play who was there? Alwyn Bully and his wife. You know, after we, we did the play for three nights, and then at, after the play we had a get together at my home for the for the group. And who was there again? Alwyn. <laughs> I read it all. 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 I read it all.
Like we're there forever When you're gone, yeah, you're gone forever Oh, yeah, gone forever Somehow we treat life like it's whatever And we do whatever Oh, yeah, and then we die whenever I'm creating memories Thank God for these melodies So we could make life sweet, oh, yeah So we could make life sweet Creating memories Thank God for these melodies So we could make life sweet, oh yeah So we could make life sweet See you today, gone tomorrow, yeah As we make ready our brothers rest in place, look also with favor on all who mourn and comfort them in their loss. For we ask this for Jesus Christ, our Lord, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, because God has chosen to call our brother from this world to himself, we now commit his body to the earth. For we are dust, and unto dust. We shall return. sad occasion today, you know, losing my old English and literature teacher and if I recall well he was also my form teacher somewhere in food form or food form, you know, food or form form. But he's a, he was a great inspiration to us at the school at the time because during those days in the 70s there were a lot of um, school disturbances and you know that was the time of the black power movement and he was that the kind of teacher you know that we could confide in you know we could have discussions with him and enlighten our mind you know just apart from the teaching subjects he did you know we would always meet and discuss you know current affairs and would enlighten us you know so he was really a great inspiration and i think he he helped to to mold us into the kind of personalities most of us are today, you know. We, 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 I really want to take this opportunity to pay high tribute to him, you know. And I mean, given his, his cultural accomplishments, you know, it was a great contribution to Dominic. And I recall, even in my working life, working in cooperatives, there was a women cooperative called the Agape Craft, it's in Delices. You see, they, they were pro pro producing quills, for sale to the US markets and to the UK. 
and um, we came to a point where they need to, to improve and diversify on their designs and I can recall I requested his assistance and he was very quick to respond and we came up to daily season he really conducted a very free, good session the, the, the women there it was a women's cooperative and they were very appreciative of, of that kind of contribution and that kind of impact he had on them in terms of helping them to improve their designs and to cater for better markets for their products and so on. So he was a guy who made a very tremendous contribution to Dominica and for all of that we want to be proud and especially as a DGS old student who me inspired, you know, it's, it's really a great feeling, you know, to meet with all his associates, you know. In fact, I met a guy called Robert Lee, who was a guy who did some theatre training with us in the early 70s, and I haven't seen this guy, seen this guy for years, and we were able to meet today, you know. In fact, when Alwyn died, Robert Lee came on my mind, and it was great to see he and Omar and persons like um, um, my Kittishan friend Melvin Edwards, you know, all these guys came down for the funeral. So it's really a big loss for Dominica and um, I feel pleased that you have given me the opportunity at least to express those sentiments.